Hello, so our second video on only cars. Now, this evening I've been invited to get, attend a Jaguar um, open evening from the new F Pace. Now, I'm looking quite forward to this because I haven't been to something like this before. And yeah, we're going in a Jaguar itself. So, yeah, that should be pretty fun. It's actually my boss's proper car, not the F type that he had for the weekend. So, here we go. Two Jaguars, three days. Quite exciting, really. And yeah, we'll see you there. So we've just turned up to Jaguar and there is a lovely XK120 here. Now, I'm actually with the owner here and you've been owning uh, having it for about 18 months. 18 months, yes. yes. Yeah. And it's very nice, very nice. Immaculate condition. If I show you around it. Classic to say the least, isn't it? Lovely lines on the bonnet as well. Sitting in the driver's seat of the X120, lovely dials. It's a 1952 Jaguar X120, if I haven't said already. And yeah, it's very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. And I feel like it, uh, it's, it's a showpiece. It is an absolute showpiece. Very, very lucky to see it. Very, very lucky. To actually driving it and thank you very much to the owner wow oh, i'm actually speechless to be honest i haven't seen something quite like it four gears original gearbox and it's it's like lovely so we've actually got the bonnet open and it is a proper engine no covers what is it v12 uh, straight six straight six sorry straight six 3.2 liter Probably with quite a, a good power to weight ratio oh, yes, as well, yes, but it's yes. probably not that heavy no, either, is it? We'll do 120 miles. Yeah, 120. 1952. 52. That, that's that's probably quite was, scary. It was the fastest production car in the world. Yeah, I'm today. not surprised. Yeah, guess, yeah. It's actually for its lines quite aerodynamic as yes. well. Very aerodynamic. Very, very around the car park. Car. There is some very very nice Jaguars in here. It's kind of the event to turn up in Jaguars, no surprise. And then if I turn around, there is a lovely F-Type R. Now look at that. That is just a piece of class. Look at it. Just gorgeous. How long have you had this, mate? Eight, eight, eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Very, very nice. I had a white one before that, V6 one, and then I've upgraded to the V8. So. Worth the upgrade? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Come. Just for the noise alone. Yeah, I'm sure. It's very, very nice. Perfect colour as well. Nice black details. Exhausts, four exhausts. V8, lovely car. I want to go in it. I really want to go in it. Crazy. So, walking in now, I will officially launch the F Pace Jaguar. Now, they do look pretty good, and I have to say, I have already looked at them. It's there. Look at that. Lovely black wheels. So the other cars in the showroom, 
is a lovely a Jag F type, which actually I was fortunate enough to get a drive in the other day. So this one is a navy blue with a nice cream interior. It is a, if I should bring up the, the speck of this one. It's a 2 litre, 180 PS, all wheel drive portfolio, uh, 20 inch alloy wheels, um, as I say cream interior. Very, very nice. And what I'm impressed about them is the size of the boot space in these. It kind of goes on forever and ever. Now, compared to the competitors, which is the X4, the, the Mercedes GLE, the Porsche uh, Macan, this has got a huge boot, which for, for road trips and stuff, especially if you want to fit skis into it and, and golf clubs and whatnot, Fantastic car to do it in. <laughs> so if we now open the door and sit in the, in the front of this, I'll give you a little show for it of what it has to offer. It's almost a brand new vehicle, 282 miles. Actually nicely says the date on it, which I didn't realise before, but it's very nice. Paddle shift gearbox. Yes, I referred to him as paddle paddy. <laughs> Flappy paddles in the last video, even. <laughs> but no, start stop button. All what you need. Park brakes down here. Different driving conditions, so you've got dynamic, comfort, I guess, eco, and then bad weather, snow. Traction control off. This is actually equipped with the sport seat. A <laughs> lovely, lovely interior, I must say. Um, glove box, small enough to fit maybe a pair of sunglasses in, I don't know. But yes, lots and lots of conditions. Lovely, lovely, lovely sitting position. So yes, thank you for Jaguar with Barrett's in Canterbury. Um, Brilliant evening, lots of photos which I'm going to be sharing on Instagram. If you don't already follow me, follow me at onlycars underscore page. Um, yeah, it's got pretty much everything you want. And it's, yes, I drove the, the we, we, I was in the F type Roadster the other day, and that was the ultimate sports car. But this is kind of like a, a sports four before. They say it's five seats, you've got five seat belts, push this up. But in all honesty, you're not going to fit five people in here, it, it, unless, unless it's a child. So it's a sports 4 before. It is ideal, as I say, to, to go down to, to the Alps, take it down to the Alps in the winter with your skis and go skiing. All-wheel drive versions are option. Op it's an option. Um, nice, a lovely, lovely car. So if we go into the other room of the Jaguar dealers, there's actually a lot of nice cars. Well, we've got an F-Type Coupe. Hello. Just the normal F-Type. It's the all-wheel drive version though. Um, very, very nice interior. As I shall show you. It's a coupe version of all the growth over there. And then down here, we have another little left side. But to say the least, it does not look standard. It's got a lovely sun, sunburnt orange 
exterior paint job. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, chrome badges, chrome details. Interior, stab stitched seats, which, to say the least, looks amazing. It really does. An XES, equivalent to like the 3 Series BMW or the Mercedes C Class AMG. But going back to this, I'm going to have to sit in it. It's very, very nice. Now, in the last video, I didn't show too much on the boot. Now, hopefully, I can't open the boot. Which is a shame. But hey, hey, moving swiftly on. Into the cockpit of this. So, I gave you the tour the other day. Paddle shift gearbox. Not the flappy paddles. <laughs> This is going to stick with us now. Um, sports box, um, sports gear box, open roof button, parking. We actually found whilst driving the wing activator button, which we can leave it up or put it down. We got the open valves, which is standard in dynamic mode, Jaguar display, and yeah. Other than that, nice black details. And yes. So I'm going to call it quits there. Thank you for watching. If you don't already haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Got lots to share with you. I think we're at a, a classic car show on Sunday, so possibly, hopefully, get a video from that. Um, got, but yeah, don't want to tell you too much. Keep tuned. Uh, follow me on Instagram at onlycars underscore page. Also got a blog. Um, all links down below in the comments. So please. Uh, Follow me, subscribe, check out my blog. Hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers.